Hello everybody, my name is Captendo and welcome back to another Pokemon MMO 3D video. So a lot of people have been asking things like when are trainers going to be teleporting with their Pokemon? When are they gonna fix that? Um I don't know it's not really a fix, it's more like a feature that was taken out, stuff like that. People are asking stuff like that. Um that's something that's gonna be added in like a new update, and that's what I want to talk about today, is that um, we have a, we have a location in the game that shows you what the planned updates for the game are or the future updates. And I'm going to show you guys that today. So for those of you who don't already know, if you go over to Professor Oak's lab and you see that first door on the right, if we head inside Professor Oak's lab and go into this first door on the right, there will be a screen right here on the wall. This is available for anyone to see. Um, I guess you could also go to the Trello page. I don't have the link for that. Um, but if you go here, it tells you what the updates for what versions are. So like right now we are on the 2019.0.0 update. Um, as you can see, Pokemon size variations were added. Uh, we can scroll down, fix bugs. Six move forgot. That was a bug. Um, tells you which Pokemon were added this update, like Kabuto, Aerodactyl, the Johto starters, um, Sentry, who, who, it shows you all the things that were added this update, um, update to the NPCs of Brock, James, and Jesse, uh, skin collection, uh, Pokecoins are added, and, um, uh, <laughs> fixed a bug perma boost. <laughs> So, um, things like that were added into the game, and this is version 2019.00. So, if you look over here, we have these other updates that we don't have yet. And that's because these are future planned updates, and I, I think, I think we're gonna have, you know, what was it? It was like two or three more updates added this year, which are probably gonna be these. Um, this, uh, 2019.0.1 version is actually a conversion of the... 0.1 in the 0.2 version um, everything just got combined into one update um, and as you can see right here at the top the planned feature for this update is trainers follow their pokemon so there's that for people um asking that question when will it be fixed um it was just it was just removed and they're adding it back in so trainers will follow their pokemon uh, save players location now i think that this means um when you log out it'll save your players location and when you log back in, you will spawn there rather than every single time we spawn at the normal spawn zone. As you can see right here when I hit the home button, this is where everyone spawns in. So every time you log out of the game, no matter where you are, you spawn right here the, the moment you log back in. I think that's what it means by saving players location. So like if you go over to Johto, let's say, and you log out, when you log back in, I believe that means that you should just start right back in Johto. You don't have to run all the way back and forth each time um, unless you teleport back here. So we'll go back up to the top and we'll see uh, rewards for releasing Pokemon. So if you are planning on releasing a bunch of Pokemon, I, I would say hold on to them or at least like reorganize your PC boxes um, so that like you know which boxes are like the Pokemon you want to get rid of. And then we can see, I don't know what the rewards will be. Uh, maybe it'll be Poke dollars or something. I don't know. I, I don't know what they could give you. Um, Poke dollars, trainer experience. I don't know what they could give you for that. Um, increase to the max and min camera distance um, because sometimes some Pokemon are like so small that like you can't zoom out that far. Sometimes they're too big where you can't zoom out far enough and actually be able to see. Um, I already got my camera mix, uh, messed up. There we go. Um, fix bug, sync jump animation, jump run, blah, blah, blah. Uh, some new skins can't be selected to show the trainer card, blah, 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 stuff like that. Um, Natu and Exatu are going to be added into the game. I think that's how you pronounce that one. Um, then we're also going to be getting Mary and its evolutions. We're going to get Houndour and its evolution. And, um, fixing the bug on the multiple collector skins. This is what I was talking about in my skin collection video where um i think the the lavender tower one on mondays you can get this skin at the base of lavender tower and then it was what was it it was either i think it was thursday where this skin's also available on top of the uh, pewter museum um this will be removed from lavender tower and we should be getting the uh, office worker skins there 
Um, fixed a bug with Rhyhorn's eyes. He has like like a little white box around his eyes. Um, fixed bug with Hoot Hoot's feet, where like when he jumps, um, one of his feet just like grows massively. Um, Caesar is getting new moves, which I I think I read it was only like one move, like Metal Claw is what he's getting. And then we're getting the um, Brock and Misty skins, but um, <clears throat> this is the one I like the most. Is uh, we're getting <laughs> we're getting Team Rocket skins. So uh, minions assemble. Uh, fixed a bug, Meganium and Tail Whip. Meganium's not supposed to have Tail Whip, so um, I guess that's going to be removed. I kind of wish it would, you know, be left in and be like an added move, but it's most likely just going to be removed. Um, and then as we move on to the next version, this will be the, this will be like two updates away from us. Um, you can pretty much just go read this yourself if you want, but, uh, Pokedex display, Tentacool added, Horsey added, Goldeen added, Gyarados added, meaning that, um, we'll probably get like Tackle or something for Magikarp. That way he can actually level up and get to level 20 so that you can evolve him into Gyarados. So Gyarados is planned to be added to uh, two updates from now. And then um, next update, battle system update. I don't know what that means. I guess I could probably click on it. Nope, that doesn't say anything. <laughs> All right. Uh, guild systems coming out. Minions again. Uh, rocket skins and a guild. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> uh, Sneasels, um, Teddy Ursa and Ursa Ring will be added. And then... Um, these don't have a specified date, but as you can, I don't know why there's Street Fighter up there. Server optimization, hitboxes, uh, maybe that'll help, you know, like fighting type Pokemon or something. I don't know, uh, cause fighting type moves have like no range or no reach at all. Um, best audio manager. Th these are just like, you know, these aren't scheduled things. These are just like, you know, planned updates, uh, to be worked on. Best chat, new launchers, scenario, and maps. I don't understand this. I don't know what scenario and maps means. Um, maybe like new uh, new buildings will be added to like Johto and stuff, but I don't know what scenario means. Because um, when I when I hear that, I think like story or something, but I I, I doubt that. And because we we don't have all the gym leaders added yet, so we're probably not going to be getting any like gyms or anything. Uh, buy unique character skins, blah, blah, blah. Daily quests. Now, that's the thing that I'm actually pretty interested in. Um, it makes me wonder if it's going to be something like, um, you know, if you complete daily quests, do you get, uh, do you get, like, pokey dollars? Whereas, do you get, like, pokey dollars? Or maybe if you complete daily quests, do you get, like, trainer experience or something? I don't know. If it is trainer experience, I could see a lot of people, um, getting on every day to do those daily quests to level up their trainer that'll be a good way to help level up your trainer once you've already like registered all the pokemon um interactable and synchronized environment i don't know what that means unless maybe we can sit in like chairs and stuff map events that sounds cool um maybe it'll be like a strong pokemon or something i don't know uh reset password change email on the website so that's good because uh People are forgetting their passwords or their emails. Um, I guess they're not able to get back in. Um, added NPC, Lieutenant Surge, Erica. So that's two more gym leaders. Uh, Bill and Professor Oak will be added. And then down at the bottom, we got <laughs> Ryu added as an NPC. I've already seen Mega in Cheater Hunter. They've been chasing me around with that skin. Um, so they've done that. Uh, Mega's done it out in public. There you go, Mega freaking trying to hide it <laughs> uh multiple ai behavior for wild pokemon so this will probably change up how um the npc work maybe so that they don't just charge at you in a beeline like you know and, and make it actually more difficult to battle wild pokemon so i don't know ah there it is fixed bug there it is. I, I don't remember seeing that i wonder if that's new or if that's something that was up there but i put a video up of uh shuckle because Shuckle has so, such low attack. Um, if you damage a Pokemon, let's say, let's go over here. Let's go to Totodile. So if my attack gets lowered by like 100 points, um, that'll bring me into like negative 15 attack. And if I attack a Pokemon with an attack based move while, I, while I'm in the negative, it instead heals the enemy Pokemon instead of just doing zero damage, it just heals instead. So that's a bug. <laughs> 
So just so you guys know, that's a thing. If you want to, you could try Shuckle and go fight like a, uh, a Dodrio because they'll lower your attack. And then try it out on them. You either won't do any damage or you'll heal them. So uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. That's pretty much the entire Trello list and all the planned things that are going to be there today. All right, everybody. So that is it for today's video. As you can see, you can still see the room right there. So if you ever want to go read these for yourself, you can either go here in game and just go to that first door on the right and it'll be right on the other side of that wall. Or you can go to the Trello page yourself um, and look at the roadmap, just basically what's planned, uh, what are future updates that are planned, new Pokemon that are coming out. If you ever want to know that, you can just go in there or go to the Trello website and do so yourself. So that is it for today's video, everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Can't zoom in any closer. <laughs>